All right, lads. So today we're going to be reviewing Silver Inform Hakim Zayek. Plays for FC Twente in the Azera Divisi. He's five foot ten tall, left footed, got high medium work rates, a three star weak foot, and three star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts so are his 95 curve, 95 vision, 86 agility, 85 shot power, and 85 free kick accuracy. We've also included all the upgrades over his non inform as a comparison for you. So you can see each individual stat increase of all of his stats. So you can always pause it if you want a close look at any of them. So this is the team we were using in Form Zayek in, a 4 2 3 1 Eredivisie team with Zayek at Cam. So now onto the gameplay so you can see how he was performing. Now in Form Zayek it's crazy crazy hard to find on this market due to his daft price range. It is way too low from what he should have been at the start. But I'm sure we've all had uh, bad experiences with these uh, shitty price ranges. But back to Zayek, now he does look great on card for a silver cam and I'm glad to say he was a great in game as well. Now his pace is only average but it is certainly good enough for a cam. At cam you don't need that much pace and it doesn't feel awful in game, didn't feel too bad. Obviously he wasn't sprinting away from everyone but he wasn't doing too bad a job at cam. More than enough to get you by in the midfield. And he does have his great 86 agility as well, which really, really did help with his dribbling. He's only got 74 dribbling, but with that 86 agility, he's great at avoiding players, avoiding challenges on his dribbles. With his agility, he was great at getting through the defences, which he was doing in every single game we were playing, no matter his opponents. He was managing to get through those defences with his dribbling, so great on the ball. Really loved using him, great fun player to use. And his dribbling and agility did lead himself to a lot of shooting opportunities. And he did actually bag a lot of goals for us from Cam. Now his finishing is not that great at 71. But he does have a cracking 85 shot power on him. Which does help his shots tremendously. Did get this nice effort with his shot power from outside of the box. Just smashes it into the back of the net. Straight as an arrow. Great long shot from Zayak there. Past the despairing keeper. So great shooting on him with his shot power. Can get some great goals with Zayek and he does have a great shot on him and not forgetting he does have great passing as well both short and long passing are great for a silver player and he does have an amazing 95 vision which is amazing on a silver player it's an amazing on the goal player never mind a silver so he can pick out some cracking passes as well so he is great creatively as a player as well as going forward as well does have all the stats you need for a, make a cracking cam in the middle great great player highly recommended so let's have a look at Inform Zayek's performance stats. So in seven games, he did manage to bag nine goals and three assists. All of his stats are on the left. All of his goals shown on the right. The position map shows you where his goals were scored and his assists were created as well. So overall, we're going to give Silver Inform Zayek a cracking 9.2 out of 10. Does make a great attacking midfielder with his creative game and his scoring record. Averaging over a goal a game from Cam is a hell of a great record, especially for a silver player. Was great on the ball as well, especially with that agility, which really does help out his dribbling. Really only negative points. He does have really poor strength and he has poor attack positioning as well. But both of which can be helped out with his dribbling and agility. Uh, with player avoidance with his dribbling and getting yourself into better positions with your agility and dribbling as well that can help out with his attack positioning just got to do it yourself he does have a good high attacking work rates though on him so that will help push him forward a bit now we only have three star weak foot and three star skills now he did get a couple on his weak foot but it's not too great he didn't get some great any great shots with his weak foot and three star skills is fine you've always got the roulette it would be better with four but you can cope with three does make a great cam as we said highly recommended especially for a Silver Eredivisie or Silver Dutch side. So finally, we're just going to leave with Inform ZX positives and negatives for you to look at. Now, his price range is 19 to 27k on PlayStation and 12 to 22k on Xbox, which for me is frankly crap. They should be, they are way too low for what they should be. Really, people are getting him in packs, without looking at his price range, and they're not selling. They either want to keep all of him, or they're going to wait for him to rise, which he will, because no one can get him on the market. This was an absolute pain in the ass to get. I know a lot of people have been asking me to do this, so I'll try my best to get him, and I've managed to get him for you. But if EA don't sort out these better price ranges, then come FIFA 16, if we're in the same boat at the beginning, I know there'll be a lot of packs opening, but if we're in the same boat, they're going to be losing a lot of players because they just can't be asked to sit there hours on end trying to just find informed players to, to use. So hopefully you do improve it for next year. Hopefully, I pray you do EA. So hopefully you did enjoy this review. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. We try to do the most in-depth reviews as we can on YouTube. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Loads more to check out on our channel. 
channel. Loads more to come as well, so stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot, lads. Cheers for watching. See you later.